Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a journal with me and I'm going to be working nearer the beginning of my journal. So I will be working on a little bit of a hump. This journal is getting quite full now. So I'm going to be documenting an afternoon barbecue at my parents' house. I do have a couple of photos of family members. They are mainly of my nephew Logan and I printed these ones smaller than I usually do. I don't have any ephemera, so I've just pulled some items from my stash that I thought I might like to use. But first I need to cover up the white space on these pages. I have some scrapbook paper here. I believe I pulled these from the Garden Party collection by Maggie Holmes, and I'm just choosing my favorite. So I have some pretty floral papers, but I end up choosing the purple one because it has some suns on it and I don't get to use purple on my pages that often. I'm also planning on making this a bit more of a summer themed spread as these photos were taken in the summer. I do also have a winter and autumn themed journal with me, which you can find on my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen those, I will link them below for you. I've also created a spring themed spread, and you'll be able to see that when I do a flip through of this journal, which hopefully won't be too far away. So I'm just trimming my paper down to size, and I'm going to be using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue on the back of the scrapbook paper. So this glue is a tacky glue, very similar to Aileen's tacky glue. And the reason I've chosen this one and why I like it so much is it has a really fine tip so I can get really close to the edges. And usually I would add some washi tape down the center of the page when I'm adding in some extra paper into my journal. But because this is the middle of the signature and I have that thread there, I'm not going to be able to add some tape down the middle as I usually would. So I'm making sure that I get enough glue on the scrapbook paper and I can get really close to the edge just so that the paper won't lift back up. a little play with a journal card that was on my desk but then I realized I wanted to cover up this white space on the opposite page so I actually used some wide washi tape to do that and this tape is by the brand MT it's one of the wide William Morris ones So now I'm just going in and having a little play with some of the bits and pieces I pulled out from my stash. So I've got some journal cards and little bits and pieces and I'm just sort of having a little play figuring out where things might go on the page. I really like this brown journal card. I really like the idea of adding a photo on top of the journal card just to help the photo stand out a little bit from the scrapbook paper. And then on this side of the page, there is a pocket. That piece of ledger paper is a pocket. So I'm going to be adding some other photos in there. So I like to add double sided tape to all of my photos because it's nice and strong. I chose this photo of Logan to be the main focal point of the page. My dad is in the background and it was taken in my parents' conservatory. The photo is nice and sunny and Logan is also smiling. And I just used double sided tape on the back of the journal card as well. So I'm 
just having a play around with some other bits and pieces and seeing if I want to add anything to this ledger paper. But I realised I wanted to add some writing space on top of this purple scrapbook paper. So I'm just playing around with some scraps that I have and I really like this one here that I can make into a little bit of a fold out. But I do come back to that a little bit later. I've decided to use this ledger paper on the left hand side of the page to create a list of things I love about summer. So I've just pulled out some alphabet stickers and I'm going to be spelling out the word summer. These stickers are from one of the Maggie Holmes collections. And I decided to stick this piece of vintage ledger paper down on the right hand side of the page and I'm just using my glue stick to do that. I left this piece of ledger paper longer than the page so that I could fold a little piece of it over and cover up some of the writing. It just makes the page a little bit more interactive. And as you can see here, I have done my journaling off camera, but I have left some space to do some more writing because I wanted to add this little journaling card here. It has an ice cream on it, and I thought it would fit well with the theme of this page. I don't do a lot of writing on camera because I usually have to get quite close to what I'm writing so all you end up seeing is the back of my head. I did add a little paper clip to that fold out piece on the opposite page as well. I want to add the remaining photos into the pocket but I don't really like how they will look just loose in there. So I'm just playing with a couple of different paper bags and seeing what I like the best. I really liked that strawberry print bag, but I didn't really like how it looked with everything else on the page. So I end up choosing this mustard yellow paper bag and the patterns do clash a little bit, but the reason why I chose it was because there is some yellow on Logan's t-shirt in the photo, so I thought it would work well. And all I'm doing here is adding some staples to the pocket because otherwise the paper bag falls all the way into the pocket and you may not know that it's there and I wanted it to stand out a little bit. So I've pulled out some more stickers and these are from one of the American Craft sticker books because I wanted to add a sticker to this little bit of blank space down on the right hand side of the page. But I didn't really know what to add because I didn't want it to look matchy matchy with the ice cream journaling card on the opposite page. So I end up just choosing a word sticker and adding a couple of ladybird stickers. And I'm just adding a couple of doodles because I just can't seem to leave any empty space on a page. And I'm just choosing a phrase sticker to add to the photo of Logan and it says sunshine and smiles which works perfectly for this photo. And then I realised there's some more empty space on the back of this ledger paper so I had to add another sticker there. And then I decided to add another little sticker to the back of this paper bag, just to dress up the paper bag a little bit. And these are the finished pages. It's a pretty simple spread, but I really like how the pages turned out. There are lots of clashing patterns and lots of bright colours, but I think it all works really well together. I love that I have a spread for all seasons in this journal. Spring may have only just started, but I'm already looking forward to summer. 
It's my favourite season. Here is a closer look at some of the details. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.